when my mother died, she was dead when we got to the hospital, but they put her on life support. And I stood in the room, the, the uh, trauma room where she was, and at one point I said, you know how sometimes you just talk out loud, you're not talking to anybody in the room, you're just, what's inside is coming out, and I said, my legs feel so weak, that fast a nurse had a chair underneath me. I held my mother's hand. She didn't hold my hand back. I thought about when I was a boy. She held my hand when we walked around the tall boys in Harrisburg. I thought about the hand that held my hand when I crossed the busy street. The hand that held my hand when she walked me to my first day of school. Now this time, I held her hand. She did hold me. I'll tell you who did hold my hand. That was Jesus. I lost my dad young. I told you that before. And that hurt. But let me tell you, there ain't no hurt like the hurt when you lose your mom. What happens when we're given this bad news? What happens when we have tragedy? I heard a black preacher one time. I'm going to close with this. <clears throat> there were a family of three children, and they invited the next door neighbor to come spend the night. Friday night into Saturday at their home. And uh, Grandma lived in that house and she came home inebriated. And she started to cook something on the stove and she laid down and fell asleep. A police officer in the early hours of the morning, this was when we lived in Brennan, he could not get in the house. He tried. All four of those children I went to the viewing of the three that were fan that were siblings. That was sad. That was just unbelievably sad. And the gentleman that had to ask me to go to this viewing said to me, Will you go to the funeral for the 12 year old the next day? Is at the uh, AME church. It used to be uh, the Sundays of God when they were in town. And we went. Boy, that was tough. But when that minister got up to speak, he made a barrel chest of guidance. He said, the family was so distraught. And he said, God will turn tragedy into triumph. He said, You cannot turn tragedy into triumph. But you hold his hand, and he'll bring you into the land of triumph. We pray for you, Father. That when we go through trials and tribulations, that we will trust you. We don't understand why at times. At other times we see what you're doing. But even then it's hard for us to accept. Because our emotions are raw. And we're hurting. Help us. Maybe you need to talk to Jesus today. Maybe you need just to wait on him for a few moments. Will you stand with me? And will you gather in? Let the Lord speak to your hearts today. Maybe it's not even a major problem. Maybe it's just the, the, struggle, the everyday struggles of life. But you need something from God today. I would encourage you to come. Will you come join with me today for a few moments in prayer?